And then the second type of modded human is where I will share this dream. The other type of modded humanity is born that way. They become a hybrid from the womb. These are exceptionally genetically enhanced people. And I'm talking about enhanced to the millionth degree. So if humanity is a dial whereby someone can be handsome, very handsome, unbelievable handsome, and who on earth is that? Or it can be dialed back the other way. This type of person will be dialed forward in every possible way. And then the knob will be broken off and thrown away. The Lord said, these people are free from sickness, free from genetic defect, free from disease. It will be, and I was seeing something as, you know, when you have a live wire, they usually put live and dangerous wires inside some kind of rubber casing so that we don't get shocked. So for instance, the, the cords of our cell phones and the cords of our laptops are all protected in this type of rubber sheath. And so I was seeing it was almost as if there was some type of sheath over these people's DNA so that it was extremely protected from all types of wear and tear decay proof and they become immune to all the things that humanity suffers by reason of the curse in the garden of Eden. So God told us now you will only live a certain amount of time and now you will get old and now you will have to labor and sweat for bread and now you shall die at a certain number of years. But these people aging, sickness, disease, tiredness, weakness, genetic defects, muscle fatigue, and even death. All of that stuff will be edited out of these people while they are still as embryo, in vitro, and then they will be put back in the womb. So they can be put into their mother's womb, but as the Lord has been saying to me, just in private conversation, surrogacy is going to skyrocket worldwide. Young available women who need money are going to offer their wombs to basically pump out children so that they can finance the kind of lifestyle that they want. It won't even be their baby most of the time. They will literally offer themselves as a baker's oven to carry this type of baby for rich people who do not want to do it, perhaps, or just for people who cannot carry the baby full term, it will be a mother's seed and a father's seed genetically tweaked and then put into a surrogate or carried by the mother. Please hear the things that are going to be left in these people. They're going to have long, long hair. And the kind of hair I saw was not the kind of hair that let's just say ethnicities grow. It is the kind of hair that is the hair that you see in the Pantene adverts. I'm going to talk about that. They're usually going to be very tall. They're going to have great muscle tone. They're going to have very nice bodies and beautiful facial features. They're going to have virtually no scent or body odor. So just imagine if Febreze could swim what? They'll be like that. Human weaknesses will be cut out, leaving only the most desirable traits. We're talking about speed, not Nephilim super speed, but just much faster than the average human because the body carriage is extremely strong. The muscle mass is at perfection for the male and perfection for the female. And so when this person competes in athletics, they're going to leave normal guys and girls who have had to work out at the gym in the dust. This person is coming out of the womb and growing into somebody who's ripped, just naturally whipped, ripped. He's eating pizza, she's drinking a lot of soda and eating burgers, and yet the muscle tone is intact because it has been genetically tweaked that way. Strength, incredible stamina, height, beauty, intelligence, kindness, and some of them will even have voices that sound like the movement of waters, the Lord said melodious water. So they will have these incredibly charming voices where people will say, I just love listening to her talk because it's going to sound like water bubbling in the brooks. Some will even have a clairvoyant quality, like knowing things before they happen. Please note, this is not the spirit of prophecy. The Lord says that there are centers in the brain that can be triggered in a person scientifically and that this will come out in the child. Another thing, race will be heavily manipulated. The darker skin tones will be heavily manipulated out of the population. If possible, darker skin tones will be bred out of the possible in the new world, 
out of the population, if possible, in the new world order. If you don't like hearing about this, this is not the place for you. This is an adult place where I'm giving forth the information that I have received with nothing removed. So there is an entire post about this on the master's voice. I do not think it is a video yet, but it is part of a series. And the name of that prophecy is eugenics. And the Lord speaks to me a lot about how darker skin tones and certain races are already being slowly bred out of the population. So he said that darker skin tones will be heavily manipulated out of the population if they can. And in fact, it will be a preference of many parents engineering their babies because they want their babies to have better placement in this world. So anyone who wants to say that there is no discrimination based on how people look and I don't see color, you're just living in a dream world for children. In the real world, disparity exists and certain things have been a part of especially this society as long as the sun has been shining over the nation called America. It was founded in these issues and they exist today. And a mature person will learn how to navigate that landscape, landscape with grace and empathy instead of pretending that it is not a part of the national fabric. And so the Lord showed me that many multiracial couples will choose this option. A dark father, a white mother, a dark father, an Asian mother, they will opt together to give the baby a better shot in life and will say, up him three or four notches towards mom, push him three or four notches towards dad so that he has better employment opportunities and things like that. I also saw that even darker skinned people will choose this option based on their own life experiences. So a mother or father who has gone through this will then say, I know the hell that I experienced in junior school, high school, in the employment world, in the dating world, my baby's not going through that. And they're going to a black couple make the decision to also push the needle a little bit further. So here is the dream that I saw. I dreamt that the times had come and uh, the society was becoming extremely segregated between what God made and what God did not make. And sometimes human beings decided that they were going to go to what I just call the fringe. So I usually just call it the fringe. This is a place where there will not be a lot of services. Why? Because nobody expected people to want to live in those areas. The nicely done areas, city areas, fancy areas are going to be extremely made up for the comfort of the new world order. And so part of that society is having these things walking around. Maybe you're a cop, just like it showed in that movie, Bright. Your partner is going to be some creature from the Blue Lagoon, and the two of you are going to work together. That is how it is. And so I saw that Christians wanted to move out. And so they were being bussed out. And there was this lady on the bus. She was a redhead, very good looking woman in very good shape. She did not want to go to this place. So she did not want to go to where the other Christians were going. She was a Christian, but you know that Christianity is full of all types, those who really are and those who just say they are because it's trendy and it's convenient for now. She did not want to go to this place. And so when the bus stopped at a gas station. The bus stopped at a gas station. There I saw the perfect people. They literally, in the dream, it almost as if they were being filmed from below so that they looked like superheroes, Captain America. It was a black guy, a black girl, and a brunette and a blonde, um, brunette guy and blonde girl. And then and they were not like dating or anything. They were just people. And they were standing there in sports clothes. So, you know, the, the little sleeveless thing and the short shorts. They basically looked as if they, they ran track or competed varsity. I have never seen such perfectly sculpted people in my life. And the Lord was giving me the knowledge in my heart. Those muscles that you see, those perfectly toned cows, those perfectly shaped thighs, those broad shoulders you see on the men, those perfectly long necks. They were born like that. They did not work for that body shape. And the black girl had hair almost to about this place and it was bone straight, not pressed or anything. It grew out of her scalp like that. And they were so handsome. The guys, you know, the chiseled cheekbone, everything that you see that the magazine tells you either look like this or basically you don't need to be on this planet. They had that. 
And to my surprise, this redheaded lady ran off the bus and went to stand with those people and try to affect their pose. So she tried to stand like them. And I realized that God was showing me that in those times, people who are naturally genetically blessed now will attempt to blend into that society rather than extricate themselves and go and live in the fringe where I guess you have to dig a well and you have to use fire and create a fire and then cook instead of just having a stove and switching it on or getting an instant meal or any of the things that I don't know people will be injecting into themselves and saying, oh no, this is my food code or anything like that. She ran off the bus and she went to stand with those people. And I saw to my shock that she was a pretty good dupe. She was a pretty good match. Um, and we left her. She did not join the bus. Uh, she stayed and she blended with those people. And that was the first time I ever saw the coming of what I call the perfect people. The perfect people will be made from their own mother's genes and their own father's genes, but their mother's and father's genes will be tweaked to an unbelievable level that you will not even know. How can a person be this smart, be this intuitive, be this kind, have the perfect laughter that makes the party 10 times better? Um, that's what they're going to be like. And yet the Lord was showing me that even if humanity is made its best, if it is made as Satan's evolution of man, he, God will not accept it. So for those thinking, but are they still hybrids? If they have their own mother and father seed, God does not count them at humanity. God does not think like Satan. God thinks in terms of spiritual realities and truths. So Satan will tell you that superiority of humanity is the outward, but God teaches us through his word that superiority of mankind is actually the born again man who then is able to walk in the fullest expression of the spirit of God. So even if such a man is aging by the time he reaches this higher level of Christianity, or even if this man is very young and has an accident and has to spend the rest of his life confined to a wheelchair, even though he outwardly looks like something that Satan would disdain and mock to God, this man is worthy of the highest honors that heaven has to give. And so I hope that you have heard the word of the Lord. This is a longer video than usual, but there is a lot to teach. There's a lot to share. And God wants us to know that the devil will just deceive many people with these things. So it doesn't matter. Even if I make a five hour video warning about these things, the fact is that many of you who are parents, you know that your children are in love with this type of world. Every time it's shown on TV, you hear your son who's 18 or your daughter who's 21 going, you know, I would love that. I would actually get that. There's so many people, when you see the new tech on TV, I'm very interested in humanity. And so I'm, I'm, I'm not even watching the video. I pause it and I'm reading the commentary because it gives me a window into where we are as a people. And if you do that, you will see that the comment section shows you that I don't know what it's like in um, Peru. I do not know what it's it's like in France or in Ghana, but I know that here in the United States, the heart of the people here are primed to receive the beast system, especially the youth. They can barely wait for it to get here. And so if anyone is minded to amalgamate himself to the beast, understand that even if you seek for redemption before the Lord with tears, it will be denied you. And these are the Lord's own words. I am Celestial and this is the Master's Voice. Thank you for being with me. And until I see you again, God bless you. Thank you to all of you who support this ministry. May the Lord return it to you 10, 20, and 100 fold and bless you for your heart of understanding. Until I see you again, keep your prayers up and be responsible in your lives. God bless you. Goodbye.